Hey everyone, it's Ollie Lindley here from One Number. And today I'm going to talk you through how to use a parameter to swap between two fields in a high, to color your highlight table, even if those two fields have different number formats and you want them to have their own colors. Now, why that is pretty cool is in a situation like this one where we're looking at department description and our healthcare providers, uh, we can swap between wanting to color this by total cost. You'll notice that goes from $0 to $252,000 in blue. And I can swap between that and visits, which now goes between 4,190 visits and one visit. And it's an orange. So there are a couple of tricks that we used here to get this example just right. You might want to download the workbook and follow along if you want. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, take some notes and see if you can implement it in Superstore or whatever you're working on. Okay. Um, fantastic. Let's get started. So here is the basic idea. We're going to start a new sheet and I'm going to call this worksheet. And we're going to drop our department description and our providers like this onto columns and rows. And I'm going to put total cost onto text. So, so far, so good. It's just a standard highlight table, a uh, text table. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create this parameter. And all our parameter is going to do is just going to allow us to swap between the two fields that we want to see. So uh, we can call this measure swap parameter. Okay, let's choose an integer type parameter. We'll put a list one, two, and we'll just, dis uh, you know, display this as total cost. And what's our measure? Visits. Okay. Nice. Let's show this. Here we go. Now, of course, it does nothing, right? A parameter is just a variable that takes the place of a constant. So what I'm going to do now is create a calculated field. And this is going to be my measure swap. Um, and I'm going to say something like this. So in the, let's do this properly. In the case of my measure swap parameter, when one, then sum of total cost, okay? And when two, then visits end. Now, uh, just a little side note, it, this might look a little bit weird because it could look like visits is an aggregated, but the visits field is actually account distinct of our account ID. So just under the surface, it's already aggregated. So we do have two aggregated fields in here. Okay, so let's hit okay. I'm gonna drop measure swap onto color. And of course it colors the text. I want it to color the cell, so I'm gonna choose square. Okay, that's fine. Total cost, visits. Mm -hmm. So we've still got the same colors operating here. Uh, and I don't have a color legend. So I'm just gonna go up to the analysis menu. I'm gonna to go to legends and choose color legend measure swap and drop that out here. Might have worked for you, but for me, hmm. Okay, so here's where we're gonna tweak things a little bit. I'll walk you through it now. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that we've got some super exciting classes coming up uh, over the next little while. Anything from beginner's classes, you know, you just wanna to get to grips with Tableau all the way through to super advanced classes where we're taking a look at calculations and how to work with LODs and parameters and sets, you know, things like that. We'd love to see you there. Uh, that'd be super fun. Awesome. Okay, let's fix this. So here's what we're gonna do. The first thing that we're going to need to do is take our measure swap parameter, I mean our measure swap calculated field, and turn one of these values into a negative value. Okay, so it might sound a little bit outlandish at the moment, but what this relies on is us using a custom number format. And the way that the custom number formats work is you can set up a custom number format for your you know, we could do something like this for a positive number first. Then I'm going to drop in this little semicolon and now I can edit a negative number. So we could say, wait, I need to put a little zero. And now we can edit our negative numbers too. Uh, but at the moment, if I apply this number format, you can see this is turned into currency, which is fantastic. But if I edit visits now, it's still currency. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn visits into this negative uh, value. 
so that the negative portion of our custom number format is applied, right? So if you want to just copy this over, you can. Um, we're not going to break it down too much, but over here you can see on the positive side, I've got this little dollar sign in front, so I'm indicating, hey, I want to use the currency of my workbook. Uh, you can see that we've got thousands separated by this little uh, comma, and then uh, asked, I have asked Tableau to fill in some numbers. But on this side, after the semicolon, there's no dollar sign. So that's not going to be number, you know, currency uh, number formatting. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to right click and edit the measure swap. And this is going to be as simple as just timesing this visits field by negative uh, one. So we're literally saying to Tableau, hey, take that uh, visits value and just make it a negative. We're going to hit OK. You see how Tableau swapped that over automatically, which is super cool. And because our number format has already worked and has been applied, that's so nice. So maybe the one thing that I will do is these colors are very aggressive. So I might just drop the opacity like this. And I think that looks a little bit better over here. So you can work that out. Now, of course, based on what kind of fields you want to show, uh, you, you can edit that custom number formatting uh, however you like, you know, to incorporate a percentage, to incorporate currency, uh, to incorporate uh, integers, whatever it might be. Uh, and th there are a couple of ways that you can do that. But I just Googled those different formats. Okay, but I hope this has been helpful. That We are limited to two measures uh, in, in this format. But hopefully this is something that you can use and apply to some of your workbooks uh, to really take some of your highlight tables to the next level. Okay, if you've got any questions, pop them down in the chat below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But otherwise, uh, all the best and we'll see you next time.